It's Friday, and that means it's Brew Day. And Brew Day is sponsored by the Crosstown Brew Down. So let's check in with Chris and Eric from Atypical Brewing. Good morning, and welcome to Brew Day. I know you don't know who I am. My name is Chris, and I'm usually behind the scenes. But I have the privilege today of meeting with Eric from Atypical Hi. to discuss a beer that they have brought back by popular demand. Why don't you tell us a little bit about this? Yeah, so this beer is called uh, Alt G. And it's actually something that we made in collaboration with a local home brewer. Um, probably, I guess, what I would consider one of like the founding fathers of the, the Minot homebrew scene, um, Bob Rackness. It's a really popular beer that he made. So this beer um, is a lavender, honey, and date ale. It's going to be nice and sort of floral, a little bit sweet, a little bit fruity. Um, it's about 6% alcohol. So... Um, a little higher than average, but um, still a pretty easy drinker. So if I, I like the darker beers, mm -hmm. is this something that I would like? Um, so it's definitely not going to have like those roasty flavors, um, but it is still a fairly, a fairly robust beer. So we use a lot of honey and the, the dates too obviously add a lot of sugar. So um, that gives it some, some body, which would be similar to a, uh, the fuller mouth feel on a dark beer like that. Um, but the flavors then, so the lavender, um, is really nice, which is really unique in a beer, um, and it is you, the aroma just gives you that nice sort of fresh, relaxing lavender smell, um, and then you do get that on the flavor too. But the dates and and the honey just kind of smooth it all out, and it gives you a nice sweet finish. How in the world do you come up with these combinations? Well, so like I said, this one was a, a collaboration, so um, I can't I can't take credit. This recipe was uh, courtesy of of Bob Rackness, but. Um, you know, uh, in general, we do use, you know, some pretty um, wild ingredients sometimes, and, and we just like to be creative. Um, you know, uh, my wife and I watch a lot of uh, Food Network cooking shows and stuff, and, and sometimes different ingredient combinations um, just sort of make sense in a beer, and so we, we like to try them out. And, and uh, you know, that's, I know this is sort of the, the inspiration behind Bob's recipe, too. So. Now, you had mentioned to me earlier that you've released this one before, but you are bringing it back. Why are you bringing it back? Yeah, so um, it, it was really popular. Uh, I'm sure you might be familiar with London Fog as, is pretty much our, our most popular beer. Um, but this one sold when we had it almost as, as fast as London Fog. So we brought it back this time. Um, we actually did it as, as a double batch, so we have twice as much as we did the first time around. So it's in cans. Will I also find it on tap? Yes, I will be kegging it very shortly. Probably by the time this airs, it'll be on tap and in cans, uh, ready to serve the people of Minot and all around us. Well, I am looking forward to giving this one a try because, as you said, I too am a London, London Fog fan. Uh, but I want to thank you for letting me do this interview today. Yeah, thank you. And thank you, Eric, from Atypical. We appreciate you being here. All right, and great job, Chris.